Marcus, what's the um I saw this some of the other guys yesterday, but what's the challenge in uh, training camp when you're bringing the core plus the core that played last year, especially the playoffs? Sure. What's the challenge in starting that back up or, or continuing that? I Man, I, I would say it's a challenge. Uh Got a, you know, we got a great group of guys that kind of understand their role with the team. And, you know, like I said, we, we've had guys in and out. So, like, everybody kind of know, like, once a certain thing happened or a certain injury happened or a guy missed a game, guys set out the game with who steps up and who becomes who. So, I think it's – I think, you know, around the board, everybody knows, like, what we need them to do. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of touched on that. Just take it up another level. It's more so picking up where you guys left off, right? Exactly, exactly. How do you incorporate Eric and, and Justice to the new guys into that? Oh, they've been they best around this league, so I think I think it'll be easy. You know, just let them be their self. Um, you know, that's a Ty Luke job to, like, incorporate them as far as, like, their games. Yeah. But, like, guy like Bled, you know, everybody know what Bled does. You know, he's a great defender. Uh, he pushes the pace for us. He gets in the paint. So just not learning how to play off them, I think he would make the game, you know, very easy for a lot of us. So, uh, What's going on, Marcus? Uh, last year, you know, had to play a lot of center um, down the stretch. You discussed how physically taxing that is. Um, what is what's the conversation about what your role defensively might be like um, in terms of not your scheme and personnel? I might say probably the same, similar. Um, switching, you know, guard, you know, one through five. Same thing. I mean, for myself, I wouldn't expect anything else. You know, maybe when I'm 36, I'll start like playing like a normal four man. You know what I mean? But right now, I'm still young. You know, I'm still energetic. Uh, I feel like I'm still a great defender. So, uh, pretty much the same. Um, I don't, you know, playoffs was a unique situation where I went five. So, I think, uh, you know, it's just going to come with like just adjustments we make. You know, probably finish some games at the five, but I don't think we'll see a lot of that like early on. In the season, but you know, we got to hold some cards until the playoffs come. Do you feel like this being your second camp, but really your first one participating in Philadelphia, that you've seen an improvement in communication from your point of view? Yeah, for sure, definitely. Uh, just throughout the summer, you know, what I mean, just you know, with Kawhi injury that happened like in the playoffs, so we were kind of aware that he would, you know, that he would miss a significant part of the, you know, early season. So I uh, just throughout the summer, just knowing what to work on and things like that, staying in communication with the team, uh, just being a vet, man, you know, just you know, being able to talk to him. Like I said, Ty Lewis, a close, one of my close friends, so it's, it's very easy. You went about 100 percent for a lot of clouds when you said that a couple times. Are you yeah. where are you now? But Pretty good. If I was 100% out of trust, we would have been in the finals. So now, though, are you 100%? I don't think nobody's 100%. I don't think, like, I don't think players are ever 100%. Like, it's, it's, even with the summertime, you still play. So, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. Like, I don't think I'm ready to play. Like, I'm ready to play. I would say that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't really know. But did you go through the top of the offseason a little different than last year? Did you Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. With my knee, and, you know, like, everything else getting all the other things around it pretty strong. I didn't need any surgery or anything like that. So, you know, I've never had anything significant in my entire career. So, you know, just building around it, you know, building my core a little more, you know, things like that. Yeah. You were a little more full go from the start. You think it'd be a little more back at the start? Um, yeah, I mean, for sure. You know, last year it was, I think for everybody, like it was just a quick turnaround. So, you know, we had a lot of big time injuries last year. And, uh, you know, guys needed that time off. But, you know, definitely I'm starting in a, a way better spot than I was. Um, you know, uh, just continue to work, you know, work through it and not, not push it too hard because we do have a long season that, you know, my body. Uh, without Kawhi, we'll be pushed to the limit, you know what I mean? So I uh, just got to, you know, just maintain that and, you know, continue to focus on my knee and things around it. Obviously, why is it you replace the piece? Sure. Because you guys bring back so many from the Western Conference Finals team. Um, what's the confidence like that you guys can make a surprise prediction that you think you guys like fringe playoffs? Do you guys yeah. feel like you're maybe getting underestimated at all? Honestly, I haven't really even looked at any of that. You know what I mean? Uh, 
I've seen, you know, I've been around a while, so I've seen what teams have. And, like, for me, the names don't really do much. Like, you still have to play basketball and for a team to be connected uh, like we were and been through a lot like we like we were uh, last year. So we kind of, like, it's kind of easy for us to get back into it. And I think the teams with the newer guys, it's going to be a little bit harder because you got you to actually put these people on the court. You got to put them in places that maybe they've never been in and roles that they've never been in. So, you know, for us, everybody knows their role. Everybody's familiar with the coaches, familiar with the playing. So I think it's really easy. Right, we'll, we'll close that with Miriam on his own task coming next. Miriam and then Barbara. Miriam, that's coming to you. Hey, Marcus. Um, I, Ty, it's just talked about sort of letting guys play free, and you guys have talked about that. Reggie's talked about that. Um, like, how, how does that translate? Like, how does he do that? And let you sort of in terms of like letting you guys play like yourselves. I just put us in the right positions for us to be successful, knowing us as players. Uh, to be honest, I'm always playing free. Uh, Ty is that type of coach. Like, you know, what I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, no other way. It's just, you know, when you play, you know, with guys that can create, you just figure out, you know, where you fit best and like getting the spots where you fit best and you just play from there. I don't think it's hard at all. I think it's uh, actually, I think it's actually easy. You know, he does a great job of that. Uh, everybody have a high confidence and, and they like to do what they can do. I don't think so. Sure. Uh, say much. Appreciate it. Right. Um,